Hi, this is a screencast for AsianEfficiency.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to manage your email. Now this assumes that you have read the article on AsianEfficiency.com on how to manage your email. If you haven't, go to the website and read the article first. In case you have read the article, um, and which I do assume, I'm going to show you in this video how to tie all the pieces together and show you how to manage your email more efficiently. So what I've done here is I've set up a dummy account on Gmail and in this video I'm going to assume that you're going to be using Gmail. In case you are using a different email provider or a email client, the concepts are the same, it's just that your um, specifics are going to be a little bit different. So the foundation of this um, workflow is that it requires three folders. So let's start off with that. So the three folders are uh, reply, waiting, and an archive folder. Now the reply folder is where you put all the emails um, that re require for you to respond to. And the waiting folder is where you put all the emails where you are waiting for a response. And then the archive folder, or as Gmail calls it, all mail, uh, you put all the emails that you want to save. Now the great thing about uh, Gmail is that it comes already with an archive folder and it calls it all mail. So you don't have to make uh, an archive folder. But in case you use another uh, email provider or email client, you have to make an archive folder. Now to start off, first thing I want you to understand is your uh, inbox. So what I want you to do is start looking at your inbox differently. So most people, when they look at their inbox, it's where they put all their emails, right? Whether that is read or unread, that's where all emails are. Uh, what I want you to do instead is look at your inbox as a temporary holding place where you put your emails that you haven't processed yet. And with processing, I mean either read or delegated or decided what to do. Okay, so your inbox is only going to contain emails that you haven't read yet. And all the emails that you have read are either in the reply folder, waiting folder, or all mail folder, or even deleted. Okay, so I want you to also understand two concepts that are really important for managing your email. First one is called inbox zero. Now what that means is every time you process your inbox, the goal is to have your inbox count at zero. So in this video it is five, but um, the goal should be when I process this inbox, it's going to be at zero at the end of my processing. Okay, now the reason for that is when you have an inbox that has like thousands of emails, it's really hard to find that one email that you want to read or the one email that you have to respond to. Because like if you have to scan through hundreds and thousands of emails, it can get very uh, time consuming and confusing. So that's why we came up with folder structure because if you put emails into reply folder, you know right away uh, which emails you are going to reply to. Another thing is, is that by having your inbox at zero, it's really easy to manage because it's not overwhelming when you know that he, we know that you don't have to go through hundreds or thousands of emails to look for something. Now, <clears throat> another concept I want you to understand is what I call the two-minute uh, two limit rule. What that means is as you go through each email, you, do, you, you, you ask yourself, does it take longer than two minutes to reply to this email? Now, if the answer is yes, what you do then is you put the email into the reply folder. If the answer is no, meaning it takes less than two minutes to reply to this email, what you do then is you reply right away. And as you're done uh, replying, you uh, archive the email or you delete it. So it gets out of the inbox. Okay, so with, again, uh, to quickly summarize what I just said, see your inbox as a temporary holding place for processing your email. Your reply folder is where all emails are that you need to respond to and take longer than two minutes to reply to. And you want to apply the two minute rule 
to every single email you process. Okay, so how does this all work then? Okay, sounds fancy, but let me show it to you. So when you uh, log in, you get this screen, and you, you look at your inbox. What you want to do next is go through each email. Okay, so we'll just start off at the top. Okay, so as I read this email, I ask myself, does it take longer than two minutes to reply to this email? And the answer in this case is, it doesn't take longer than two minutes. I can reply right away. Yes, day one. Send. Okay. Now, here, as I'm uh, processing this email, I want to move it outside of my inbox because I'm done with it. So what you do want to do next is put it into your archive folder. Now the great thing about Gmail is that it has an archive button, so all you need to do is press archive. And now I'm done with processing that email. Now I'm just going to go to the next one. Okay, hey, let's catch a game next week. Are you free for drinks? Um, so in this case, I would say it would probably take me longer than two minutes to figure out uh, if I am free next week. So what I do next is that I want to put this email into my reply folder. Now, the great thing about Gmail is that you can do that very easily. Just tag it like this, and it's into your reply folder. Now, it's very tempting um, to leave your inbox and start working on the task right away. So in this case, what I would probably do is look at my calendar, open my calendar program, go through my uh, activities and see if I have time to watch the game. And maybe call some other friends who want to join and so on. Now the thing you want to keep in mind is as you're processing your email, you want to stay within your inbox as much as possible because as soon as you leave your inbox, it's very tempting to do other things. And that's when you get distracted and that's when you start wasting time. So stay within your inbox as much as possible. So in this case, takes longer than two minutes, I'm going to put it into my reply folder and move it out of my inbox. Now I go to the next one. Okay, so let's say I have to record the screencast, which I'm actually doing right now. Um, will this take longer than two minutes? Yes, obviously. So I'm going to put this into my reply folder. What you could also do is send an email saying, uh, get on it and then send and say to yourself okay uh, as soon as I'm done I'm gonna send another email saying hey I'm done here here you can find it or whatever and move it out of my inbox okay so this is another typical email you might get um, let's, so let's say you're working in an office environment and your superior or your boss or your manager sends you an email saying hey I want you to do this and report back to me in three days, four days, or whatever that is. Now, again, what you want to ask yourself is, does it take longer than two minutes to do this? If the answer is yes, what do you do next? Of course, you put it into your reply folder. Uh, again, you can reply saying, okay, we'll get on it. Or you can say to yourself, um, I'm going to do my research first, and then when, once I'm done with that, I'm going to, re I'm going to reply. So I'm going to choose the latter route, and then last email, hey, okay, so this email will take less than two minutes to reply to. I can either ignore it and say delete, or I'm going to, what I usually like to do is show my appreciation. Thanks. Send. And then move it out of my inbox. Okay, so now my inbox is at zero. So I, I achieved my goal of inbox zero. So as you can see, going through your inbox can be done really uh, quickly. And that is something you always want to do because as soon as you're done with your uh, inbox, that's when you can decide what is most important. So what you want to do next is go to your reply folder and figure out based on those emails which ones are the most important. Because if you... If, you, if you're in your inbox and you go sequentially through each email and just work on those uh, as you go through them, 
you waste a lot of valuable time because you can't prioritize because there's uh, so much email left. Now, if you go through all emails first and then figure out which are most important and prioritize, that's way more efficiently. Right? So that is what this uh, email workflow does. So based on those emails, knowing that it takes longer than two minutes to reply to, I can say to myself, uh, okay, this email uh, is probably most important, and this one. So I can create in my uh, to-do list manager or task manager and, and uh, work from there. So in this case, what I like to do is uh, send to my OmniFocus, uh, get stock recommendations, and do three days from today. And when I go through my OmniFocus, you will see it here. And I have to assign a project, contact, and so on. But you get the idea. So what's great about this is that all your uh, tasks will be in one place and not in your inbox. Now, let's say I'm done with the research. I've done, um, uh, I've done my pickings, and I say, here are the top three. A, B, C. So I'll send that email out. Now, in this case, your email will still be in your reply folder. So as soon as you send out an email, what you want to do next is uh, move it from your reply folder to your all mail folder. Or in this case, what you can do is in Gmail, you just remove the reply label. And done. Same thing here. So I've said here um, that I will get on it. And let's say I am done. I can say, hey, I'm done. You can find it here. And send. Again, as soon as I'm done with this email, I want to remove it from my reply folder. And, and so on. Now, the waiting folder is the, is the folder where you put your emails where you uh, wait for a response. So let's say, so I create one, I send out an email and I ask for my favorite foods. So I'm waiting for a response. Um, and now you want to ask yourself what your threshold is. So for some people, they want to have a response within 24 hours. For some people, it's 48. For some people, it's three days. And whatever that is for you, um, make sure you review this folder at least once a week. I like to do this every Friday because my threshold is a little bit longer. But um, if you, let's say, work in an office environment where email is a big communication medium, then you might want to do it two or three times a week. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, for example. So in this case, uh, I sent this email out three days ago and didn't get any response. So I might say then, I'm following up on this. What's up? So in this case, I would um, keep it in my waiting folder until I get a response. Now let's say I did get a response. What I do next is remove the labeling. Uh, remove it out of my waiting folder and it's all and put it into my archive. So that's pretty much how this email workflow works. So every time you go and log in and go through your inbox, try to go th through it as quickly as possible. And once you're done, that's when you want to go through your reply folder and figure out what are your most important tasks based on the emails you just got. And figure that out. Um, also, keep your waiting folder in check by reviewing it at least once a week, making sure that as you go through your emails, you follow up on people that didn't respond to you. And make sure that every time you finish an email within the waiting or reply folder, that you remove it out of the uh, appropriate folder and move it into the archive or all mail folder. Okay? So this is the alien efficiency email workflow. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want more awesome content, go to AsianEfficiency.com.